you see how I don't put it up to the corners or the edges? It's not dirty. There's no sense putting cleaner right up to the wall if there's no dirt there. The machine's going to spread it out anyhow. So it's just not important to go up to the corners where maybe it was covered by furniture. The only thing that's, that's um, was up against the wall was, was furniture. There was no traffic, so there was no real dirt there. It's vacuumable soil. So we, again, we put the cleaning solution, that's the miniature sponges, we concentrate that where the dirt is. Let's go ahead and do the next area. By the way, we always do about a two foot pass. You notice I'm only moving that about two to three feet and I zigzag it. So I'm at least half overlapping the last pass. So we're doing all these kind of zigzag M's on the carpet. Always overlapping a lot. Um, some people make the mistake of operating this like a, like a, um, a lawnmower. Let's just say going like this. <laughs> It won't work. You need to go back and forth. And the reason why is every time you change direction, the powder, it will drop out of the brushes again. When the powder drops out of the brushes, uh, it then gets pulled through the rug. That's what we want. We want to get it pulled through the rug. That way it's going to come into surface, excuse me, come into contact with all the dirty surfaces to break up more dirt. So lots of overlapping passes. <laughs> So again, I've done north-south, now we're going to go east-west. That's the <laughs> And as a last pass, I'm going to go back in the original direction again. You can never overuse this machine. It'll never overwet, you can't overuse it. So you can keep on going. If you think it's still coming up better with more scrubbing, go ahead. It's fine. Okay, so um, this is an extra big room, it's very soiled, so I actually, I'm using a second pump to cleaner. I'm uh, putting a bit more down. Uh, normally, we can go half a pump, maybe slightly more than half a pump per room. But this one is just that soiled. But hey, it's a kid's playroom, what do we expect? You know, lots of messes, lots of things get stuck into this room, I'm sure, that shouldn't be here, it's spilled on the rug making a mess. I'm going to need to break down that soil. So we're going to use a little bit more, um, in particular in this entrance area here, because this is where it really takes a beating. Let's talk about how to use the, the push brush. This is a, a great brush. There's two different bristles to it. You have the dark blue and the lighter blue. Lighter blue for softer carpet. And the, heavy, the darker blue, it's almost black, that's for um, stronger carpet. So the carpet we have down here is actually really strong. It's an olefin, tough stuff. And we're just going to scrub this area. We're using the brush to show you how you can do this yourself. Um, you just push, pull it back and forth like you're vacuuming, or clean like you're, um, it's like a push broom. And put a little bit of muscle in, not that much, not that hard. Um, just working it in. It's a little bit of an aerobic workout, but that's not too bad. Don't think that'll hurt you. I'm going over in the opposite direction now. Okay, let's uh 
door cam here. And that's it. It's a done room. Now all we have to do is wait 60 minutes or so. You'll notice you see the powder will actually uh, go very light tan. Right now it's almost a, a brown tan. tan. Um, as the moisture um, evaporates out of the uh, soil laden sponges, it goes very light. And then it's time to vacuum. That's usually about an hour. You can leave it longer. Most people do.